Hey everybody, Marcus Stone here. In this video, I want to talk about how we can easily edit a header in Squarespace. So let's start. First, what you want to do is just be in your edit mode for your template. So all you have to do is just click here. So this left bar just moves away. And then just click here on edit side header. We're going to click on it. I'm going to talk to you about uh, everything and also in the end, I'm going to show you how we can easily create a drop down menu for you, okay? So first, you got a header layout and you can choose the position of everything, right? So the first thing is to just change the position like this, like this. Honestly, I really like this one here, uh, the middle. That's like really cool. But of course, it's up to you what you choose. Maybe you even like this kind of thing. So when we have it, let's move on. Go with the site title and logo. And this is what I'm going to show you. Uh, if you're gonna, let's delete logo and we got a name. If I'm going to upload logo now, I recommend doing it. So what's going to happen is that I'm going to upload logo. And as you can see, it's small. So what we need to do is to edit the image and make it bigger. But as we can see, the header is getting bigger too. So we will have to do it like to make it smaller. Okay. And then you can also edit the mobile. So let's see like this, we have it now. Oh my God, this is so wonderful. Let's go with elements. First, you can have also button if you want there. So uh, I recommend getting away those social links. I wouldn't have it there. I would have a card there, but I wouldn't have social links there. Social links should be in a footer, I think. So back. Now colors. You can go with the transparent or different one and go with the style. This is what is really important. First, if I'm going to decrease the vertical padding, as you can see, the head bar is really, really smaller now. And then you have element spacing or link spacing. Element spacing is if you get those social media icons there. And then you can have fixed position. And you can change from full to inset. So yeah, this is how you do it. And this is how I like it. So we have it now. And now I'm going to show you how you can easily, how you can easily create uh, how it's called the drop down menu. Let's click save. And let's go to pages. And what you want to do is just click here on main navigation. And now just click folder. When you're going to click folder, folder is like uh, for sub menu. So let's name it shop one. Let's say that we don't have shop here. Okay, we have it right now. It loads and voila, we got it. And now what you want to do is just add here shoes and add here t-shirts, right? So yeah, and now Someone's going to click t-shirts and he will get to t-shirts, right? So this is how we actually do it. And this is quite simple. Now, also, I'm going to show you how we can edit the footer. Edit footer. So again, same things. This is like really simple. You can insert newsletter there. You don't need to. It's really up to you. I recommend doing the social links here. You can also add like, let's go footer. Uh, you can go with things like these. So contact, etc. Social links like this. Yeah, this is cool. Or you can have it like here under it. So this is how you can also edit footer in square space yeah and you just edit everything and you got it so that's kind of it and this is how you can edit the footer and also how we can edit the foot bar this card let's go if you have any questions just ask down below in the comments and i'll try to help you and also if you enjoy this you can support me subscribe and yeah let's that's kind of it, I think. I don't know what else should I tell you. That's it. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day and goodbye. See ya.